Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. 20... 2008. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird way of saying it, but hey, whatever. Uh, when we last left off, we were in the... Uh, supposed to be uh, a castle, I guess, but it's pretty small, insignificant castle. That's for sure. Anyway, I think we were trying to... Oh no, wait. I think... I think we actually achieved that one. Can't quite remember. Yeah, I think... No. Maybe? Did we? I can't remember, man. Right, okay. Well, let's just say that that one is activated. For sake of argument. Right, cool. Uh, let's grab one of these bloody chairs. Get some fire going. Lovely. Let's go into this bloody nightmarish ooze, which I hate. Oh, I hate this oozy stuff. The vengeance. I am not a fan of this stuff at all. I don't exactly want to throw it away like that, but... Oh, fuck. This is the problem with that stuff, right? Because now we're kind of getting set on fire. Now let's try and get this one done. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. That was actually quite a bit easier than the first time I did this. Right. <sighs> also, the first time I did this, I didn't go the smart way. <laughs> I didn't go out of this window. I actually went back around the castle, kind of janked my way up these rocks, which, yeah, that actually does work, believe it or not. Um, I managed to get myself up. Anyway, so, right. Let's make sure we're weaponized. Make sure we're loaded, like so. And let's get our asses up here. Uh, dude, can you actually, like, climb up, please? Climb. Climb. There we go. Okay, no prompt to actually climb up or anything. That's fine. Why the hell would we need a prompt to climb up, right? Okay. Now, ooh, let's actually try and turn around some way. There we go. Oh, God. Yep. Um, uh, well, I mean, no, not really, not, not quite what we had in mind, but, you know, baby steps, right, I suppose. Let's try that again. Okay, we actually attached ourselves to it and then fell off. That's fine. I'm glad to see the physics system in this game works, uh, as well as intended. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Made it. Who is How it now? Going, Edward? Fine. So wonderful night for the end of the world. Ooh. Listen, I've been reading Theo's notes, and it seems that the person who reaches the end of the path of life will have to make a critical choice concerning the fate of humanity. Mm -hmm. It's not clear, but it seems that by choosing, this person will call the light bringer to Earth. And as we've discussed earlier, that might not be such a great idea. Will it save us? Or destroy us. It doesn't say. This is crazy, Edward. Once again. <laughs> Once again, yes it is. Shit's always crazy around here, especially when you got these beasts coming out of the woodwork at you. Oh god, right, well, we're out of bullets, so that's a little bit awkward. Hey dude, let me load up with some bullets, will ya? There's a deer. Are we okay? No. We're fine. I thought we was out of bullets then. Dude, are you really just going to stand there and punch me in the face? What? The actual... Fuck. You sack of shit. I didn't know you could just bop me off the end like that. Well, I got a little silent for you, pal. Think, not 100% sure. Yes. How'd you like them apples? Dick. Uh, okay. 
That's fine. Let's, oh, okay, we can also get up there that way. Wow, I really made that. Uh, I, I really made that as hard as I possibly could when I played this first time round. Jeebus. Well, that's fine. You know. Nobody likes the easy way out, do they? Or do they? Probably somebody likes the easy way. Not me, though. I'm a sadist. Apparently. I mean, I'm playing this game twice. Ah. We have some... Uh, have a fire extinguisher. Uh, I guess that makes sense because I think we've got to use it. Yep. Because somehow the stonework is on fire. I don't know how. Also, uh, this stonework would be very, very hot to stand on. Stone retains heat for a long ass time. But it's okay. It's cool. Don't question it much as I'm trying to climb up these stairs. It's not really working very well though, is it? Okay, right, let's drop you down. We do get a very nice view here of the landscape of Central Park. Actually, is well, I don't want to say pretty, but back, oh, I don't know. Um... 10, 11, 12, almost 13 years ago. This probably did look pretty good, actually. Right, let's go. Let's go take our magical light uh, ladder lift thing. Right, Theo's diary, the Philosopher's Stone, two years before. The Philosopher's Stone was Lucifer's invention to seduce men. He nurtured the myth over centuries by influencing the most important alchemists, scientists and artists. People needed to believe in it. The poor dreamt of fortune and the rich of eternal life. Many things were built and destroyed because of this myth. By giving the stone this magical aura, Lucifer was sure it would never be destroyed. It's one hell of an enemy we found here. The most ancient and most furious of them all. The war. There's a war coming. <clears throat> I'm scared and feeling down again. I'm still not making much progress. I can't find the connection between the path of light and the afterlife. The university cut my budget in half. And anyway, the stone is missing. Where the hell can Edward be? Ever since that incident in Prague, I have a bad feeling tightening in my guts. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, Theo. Oh, we got a bit of a bad wound there, haven't we? Ugh. Ah. Didn't go very far now, did it? Bloody crappy cans. Typical umbrella. Right, well. Wonder what we could possibly be looking for. Could it be the moon? And that is our destination. Uh, yeah, we'll save our progress. And now we're on to the final chapter. And what a chapter it is! Okay, right. Let's get down from there. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, are we still wounded, actually? Yeah, our arm is actually still wounded. It's fine. Okay, so now we have a clear goal. Let's get going. Now, can we... Oh, we apparently can. Just jump down. Good to know. Take some batteries. Don't really want the empty bottles. What do we have? Ah. Probably could use picking up some supplies what have we got here yeah that do that do that should be 10 10 10 and 10 okay cool all right let's go get ourselves a car wish there was a dedicated map button yeah this is where we've got to go all the way over there look how many evil routes we would have to fight though one two three four five six seven 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh, 30, considering that one back there. 30 evil roots on this chapter. Uh, it's not as much fun as it sounds, actually, driving around this empty hellscape. <sighs> but, like I said, we don't have to do that. Because even the game knows that that's so tedious on a second playthrough. It doesn't allow you to go back and do it. Which... I don't know about you guys, but that speaks volumes. If the developers of this game, this game, thought a mechanic was too irrit irritating. That uh, kind of says everything we need to know. Okay. And there's no key. So we've got a hot wire this bass. Do you love the way all these cars are the same when it comes to hot wiring? All right, let's go. Hopefully, we can find along the way... Oh, message. Along the way, it would be nice to find a crashed ambulance. Six months before, the alchemist agreed on the fact that the stone has the power to keep a carrier alive eternally. That's why I still have hopes for Edward. On the other hand, I know what kind of suffering... He must be enduring. The aura of the stone is a true plague. I don't know what Edward will look like when we meet again one day. I feel sad. He didn't deserve this. He should have made this. I should have made the sacrifice. Okay, so I guess anybody could have done the ritual and become the person that they needed. Uh, I kind of want to go down actually kind of, oh wait hang on there's an ambulance here nope never mind that's quite interesting because if we look on the map uh now items always respawn so there's an ambulance here obviously which is the one that we're looking at and there's one this side as well literally by that um evil root marker there so that's kind of interesting Either way you go, there's an ambulance. Uh, so we've got bandage. Oh, what? Oh, right, okay. I was going to say, are you serious? No F8 sprays here? It's kind of funny that they literally have ripped the F8 spray right out of Resident Evil. Uh, is that it? Uh, I mean, we've used half of our healing spray, but that's fine. Okay. Onwards, virgin soldiers. Onwards. So, one achievement left in this rancid shit of a game. And it's probably the hardest achievement in the game. So, yay. But that's okay. That's okay. I was built for punishment, I will take it. So we just have to complete that final section in the beginning of the game. Uh, in first person mode. Which sounds so easy. That bloody driving section. Ugh. But, so far, I'm glad that I've condensed this playthrough from... Like, I, I did look back at my thumbnails. I made... Oh, God, I'm going to have to read all those as well. Ah, it's fine. Um, yeah, I went back and I made 23 thumbnails. So there's 23 parts to this LP. So because we haven't had to do the roots, and because I know a little bit more than I knew back then, we've cut the time of this LP in half. That's really cool and really bad at the same time, because it means I need to find another game to play. And that's fine, because in... Uh, well, kind of silly to put context, put a time in this video, because, you know, God knows when this is going to go up. But I do have two weeks on holiday coming up. 
So, guys, can you piss off? Seriously, thank you. Not sure why the car actually stopped there, but it's fine. It's totally fine, honestly. Maybe we'll do some Halo, because Halo Infinite is out. End of the year. And you bet your ass I really want to be on that. Now, at least we can have a nice little Sunday drive all the way. Really, dude? Where the hell did you come from? It's going to beat the fuck out of my head somehow. Dude, seriously. Come on, off. Yes. And you've basically nearly killed me. Great. Dickhead. Absolute fucking dickhead. Now, one of the things that I was really hoping for is when we was walking around Central Park, I was really hoping that there was going to be some things to explore, some things to see, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Maybe some more information to find. Uh, there is not. Pretty sure I've said that anyway, but no, there's, there's nothing out here. Literally nothing out here, apart from those goddamn roots, which we don't have to worry about anymore. Right, so that dickhead punching me in the car has actually done a lot of damage. Dick. Absolute dick. Okay. It'd be nice if... Oh, yes, right, so when you get near an evil root, this is what happens. Yeah, this is the evil tree. I guess we've still got to take that thing out. I mean, this thing basically is an evil root. You can see the force shield thing around it. That's bad. But if you get stuck and you're not sure what to do, walk around the uh, the uh, area, the environment, and you'll notice we have petrol and we have rags. So if you're wondering what to do here, you need to make petrol bombs. Essentially. Okay. Now, the evil roots were actually really easy to uh, destroy. Like, ridiculously easy. They were weaker than standard enemies. You just ran up to them and hit them and Robert's your father's brother. Right, hang on. Oh, yeah. Got to go into first person to close our eyes. I forgot that doesn't work otherwise. Right, let's hock that over. Now. How did that do? Not quite what we wanted. Okay, let's try again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Uh, rags, please. Thank you. Alright, once more we're feeling. Combine. Maybe it just takes more than one. Honestly, I have no idea. I don't know the trick to it. There we go. Ugh. Now, the thing about plastic bottles as opposed to glass, plastic bottles bounce, they don't shatter on impact. But this is more impressive than burning a root of evil. When you burn a root of evil, nothing just happens, it just burns. Like, just like just any old enemy. You don't get any fanfare like that. Now, let us enter. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. one of these bloody symbols so I wonder if we're ever gonna see alone in the dark again I'm gonna guess no because this game apparently did so badly it just it literally killed the franchise which does suck but you know at the same time I don't have any allegiance to alone in the dark I've played one of their, well, two of their games. One of their games was really good. The other one was, uh, 
well, <laughs> not so good. Let's just say that. Okay. Now, I originally thought we could just climb down here. It actually took me a while to see that rope. Uh, I thought because of the bricks here, it looks like you can climb down. No, 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 no. A thousand times, no. Oof. All right, how are we looking? Uh, not looking too bad. This also is really iffy. So we've got to, yeah, we've got to kind of drop down and grab that ledge. By the way, whenever you drop down and grab a, len a ledge, uh, that's like an automatic procedure. You don't have to do anything. But getting that to actually trigger sometimes is really hard. Anywho. Let's go down. Let's go deeper underground. And see what horrors lie within. If any horrors, for that matter. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Got bloody good reception hey, down here. Uh, I found a new wrinkle, I'm afraid. Go ahead. I don't think you can surprise me at this point. There's a second medallion. It's got to be this key we're looking for. I, I think you need both stones at the end of the path of light. Two times the fun. <laughs> okay, Sarah. Okay, Sarah. Whatever you say. Uh, right. Just go down into this mystery cave. What could po Oh, yeah. It all jibs out here as well. This isn't emulated, by the way. This is how they left the game to render. Yeah, yeah. They did a fantastic job of that, didn't they? Hmm. This giant chamber we've now entered. Welcome to Tomb Raider Evil Alone in the Dark Edition, I guess. That is basically what we now have. Ah, uh, right. Now, I know there's a load of people that defend this game and say they like it. That's fine. You know, I'm not going to moan at anybody. You know, enjoy you enjoy whatever you enjoy doing. But personally, I just I don't get it. I mean, granted, the amount of people that like this game are in the extreme minority. Like, it's probably, I'd say, you know, there's at least three of them. But, uh, it's a pretty pathetic effort when you put this up to, say, Resident Evil 5, which admittedly is not the best game in the franchise. Um, and I suppose it's in a similar time scale to Silent Hill 3 as well. Although, yeah, okay, maybe there's about five years difference, actually, thinking about it. But there was plenty of horror games that did way better than this. Uh, right. Now. Notice how our torch doesn't work here. No. We have to manipulate the light using beams and stuff. So, put that there. That did not work. A accurately placing items is a challenge. As you can imagine. So there's our first puzzle. Uh, right. Lots of ropes. Lots of climbing down. Right, on to the next challenge. See how our intellect and worthiness shall be challenged next. Most of these puzzles are pretty shit and easy. But there is one that's a little bit more of a dick penis than the others. Okay, yeah, this one was a bit of a penis. Imagine being trapped down here. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter if you got trapped down here, would it? Right, so we've got to grab this object. Like so. And from what I can remember, we need to put it down the bottom here. We can actually turn around. There we go. Drop. Run. 
Now you can see everything starts moving. We want to stand on this and right at the very end of that sequence of events there's a little slab that comes out and pushes that out of the way which resets the puzzle and makes this go back up. Exactly what we wanted. Right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I might actually look this up on the PS3 later. I don't know if I'm going to watch a playthrough or play it my god. I know I'm going to play it myself. I know. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to watch a playthrough of it. Yeah, I'd like, fuck, that'll happen. Because you'll have shit to do and you'll never end... You'll, you'll end up never finishing it. Yeah, I can't... I haven't finished an LP for years. Actually, the last LP I finished at the time of recording this, so it might actually be current when you guys watch this, was um, Jimmy Fails. Doing Robocop vs. Terminator. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh, God. That was the last LP that I actually watched. But before that... Oh, God, I can't remember. I used to spend, you know, pretty much all of my time. Like, when I wasn't playing games or working, I'd be watching LPs. Uh, time makes fools of us all. And the work hours grew longer and longer and longer. I like these ropes. Maybe there's something in that. Okay. Uh, should yeah, we can just drop that. And that's fine. Right. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. This ain't the, this ain't a terrible one. Not too bad. Yeah, we've got to like channel the light to turn off these traps one by one. It's the next one that's the dick. Now these spikes that come out of the floor are instant kills. <clears throat> it's a bit buggy. Sometimes you'll get spiked and you won't die. So you'll carry on and then five seconds later uh, once you've moved on a bit, you'll just drop dead. And sometimes you'll die the second the spikes actually, you know, activate. Uh, don't question it. I'm sure they knew exactly what they were doing when they made this. Probably. Right, okay. Uh, I think that's what we wanted. Nope. Nope. Nope, we wanted to go the other way. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, put this into context. I've been trying to play Final Fantasy Remake. I've been playing it for over a month, and I'm 11 hours in. Ah, there we go. That's, that's what we wanted. And I am absolutely loving that game. It's just a shame that I've got the PlayStation 4 version. Because I know we don't get the whole game, not even close. But we are getting a much improved version of the game, which is absolutely fantastic. Right, there we go. Get out of the way, bloody board of light, whatever the fuck that thing is. I think it's made of wood. Ah, okay. Nope, this ain't the most irritating one. So yeah, okay, it's the actual final puzzle that's the most irritating one. This one's not too bad. You can see there's a spike there. And that spike activates a machine. No matter. You can just pause the machine by locking the light with the board thing that we have. Because, okay, why not, right? There we go. Onwards! Onwards, Jeeves! Fuckery to spread. Alright, now they try and fuck you by having two. But it's just the same, so, you know. Well, that took me chin off, but apart from that, we're fine. We're all good. Now, now, this is the annoying one. And even, like, I say it's annoying, but it's even not that hard. Like... It's really not that bad at all. I am going to get Resident Evil uh, 
8 done. Hopefully on my holiday. Nah, I might just gun through um, Final Fantasy 7 and try and get that done, the remake. I'd like to LP it, but I mean, it's like a 50 hour game, you know? But after hearing all the naysayers and, and you know, people griping about the game, personally, I think it's really good. Oh, we don't have a lot of liquids to play with, do we? Alright, let's burn this. My god, we're so close to the end of the game now. Which is crazy. I can't believe we like sat down. Oh no, we're still, still not on the final, final puzzle yet. Uh, oh, I can't remember this one. Can't remember this one at all, actually. I mean, that's made of wood, so let's burn that. It's usually what you got to do, isn't it? Burn things. Generally. I guess we will soon see if that was a wise move. Uh... Right. So that was the right thing to do. But not the way we did it. Yeah, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Oh. Hang on. No, that, that kind of was the right thing to do, actually. Uh, can't be. Can't be. Don't want to worry you, dude. But you're dead. It's going to hurt. Close your eyes and, I don't know, think of Sarah. Yeah, we fucked up. On the bright side, without us, Lucifer can't reincarnate, so... You know. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Just going to stand here. There we go. Puzzle complete. Uh, ah, right, yeah, didn't want to reload there. Ready? Oh, God, Grace Wars ever, can't be, Grace Wars ever. Now, let's keep marching down. Yeah, this is the last puzzle now, and this is the one that's the hardest, at least, oh, God, what's going on with the frame rate again? I mean, it's not quite the aid situation we was in before, but it's pretty bad. Okay, let's go down. Down, down, deeper and down. Come on, baby. There we go. Now, yeah, this is the last puzzle. So, we're going to pick that up. And when we pick that up... This roof is going to start coming down. All the lights are also going to go out. Did I mention that? Probably should have mentioned that. Now, we need to follow a very specific path here, otherwise we die. And there isn't a lot of time for trial and error here. So, and this cutscene here showing us that the ceiling is coming down does play every single time you fail. And does waste precious time. Every single time. Right, okay, cool. Now, we can stick this in the light. That does stop the ceiling coming down, but not for very long. Now, the ceiling is actually coming down when the place is shaking like that, but for some reason it wasn't being animated. Come on, there we go. Come on. It's so hard to keep this in the light. You wouldn't have thought it would be, but it really is difficult to break that light barrier. Don't know why. I don't know why Kambi is so incompetent in walking in a straight line. Run, Kambi! Oh, look at that. We literally got right to the end, and then we died because of bullshit. 
So the game is now going to force us to watch that again. Because it's good like that. Did I mention this was a good game? I did mention that, didn't I? Right, okay, let's go. Right, okay. Uh, uh, there we go. Alright, so the back of our head should kind of be blocking it just enough. So we just need to go quicker. That's all this is. We need to be quicker. Stop dilly-dallying around. Dilly-dally shilly-shally. No! Don't walk off the edge. That's it. That's what we're talking about. Come on, break that light beam. There we go. Alright. Nope. The light beam. Thank you. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, give me strength. Ugh. Thank fuck for that. Oh, we're out of there. We are out of there. And that, my friends, is that. That was the puzzle situation. It's as much fun as, it's, as it looked. Okay, so now we need some fire. Oh, we've got loads of fuel actually. We've got eight units. There we go. That's okay. That's plenty for now. Right, let's wait for this to break because I think we do need that. Yeah, we need that. Now this bit took me a while to figure out. I like how wobbly those get, though, you know. It probably was groundbreaking physics back in the day, like I said. I mean, it, I, you know, I guess we're pretty spoiled these days. It's hard to imagine it now, but... Where the flame bends, the path extends. Hmm. Isn't that an interesting riddle? Not. But... That's going to have to wait for the next part, guys, because we're on 37 freaking minutes already. Yeah, I know. I don't know how time flies when you're having such fun, right? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.